what you should be doing exactly in your first year first year in phd is very crucial because uh, it decides you are other two years or three years ahead whether uh, they are to be successful or not because if you lose your first year then you are losing the other years naturally because there is a gradual consequences uh, from this uh, phase so firstly whenever you are there in your phd first year the very important thing is to get all the material done in front of you and what is this material these are called sources maybe in the form of primary sources and secondary sources now these sources are nothing but research papers on your chosen topic firstly now there are some sites where in your topic there are research papers written in the past by many phd scholars or professors or teachers so they are all available online in different websites so you need to download all those pdfs that are directly or indirectly or closely or nearly related to your phd topic and keep safely in google drive please don't keep in your laptop you can keep in your laptop besides that you should be always in the cloud so in the google drive and the thirdly put in the pen drive so use these three uh, uh, devices to store your material and don't just uh, put it on uh, uh, dump it in your laptop thinking that your laptop is safe every time though it is a new one it is not so okay so uh, that is a completely different topic we'll discuss later why it should be but try to store all the material in your laptop one copy and your uh, cloud one copy that is maybe google drive or dropbox or anything and thirdly uh, you can put it on your pen drive too so these three devices will help you in, in, in drastically means surprisingly i can say when you lose the data um, unfortunately so collect all the material especially research papers written on your topic and secondly you should collect theses written on your topic there are websites where theses are available online and also approach your university library where you have theses written on your topic uh, from from other students if they are available so collect all that material theses research papers firstly secondly theses thirdly you have to collect all the information that that is available on different website especially website articles these are the articles written on various blogs so you can collect all of them and fourthly you have to make sure you collect all the other sources related to your topic uh, in terms of um, youtube videos so there are many videos available online especially on youtube around your topic may not be directly related because your topic uh, may be a new one or unique one but everything related around that so that is one thing you need to concentrate upon and collecting material happens in different ways you can collect primary resources which are the hard copy books from your library or there are e-commerce websites e amazon.in or flipkart.com you can order uh, any books related to your topic so this this is a constant chase to gather as much as bulk material in your topic and uh, store them in all the three devices what i have just said and uh, keep all the hard copies on your topic uh, on your desk your desk must be your your storage space online or your desk offline should be filled with all the material on your topic that's very 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 crucial because if you don't have the stuff around you tomorrow you can't write your thesis you can't publish research papers or you can't write anything because uh, everything all new ideas come from the uh, literature past literature so that is the that's the reason why i say you concentrate on the material in your phd first year that that will become a stepping stone to success
so this is one big part that you should do in your phd first year now while collecting these sources and everything be careful not to get temptation to collect those material which are unrelated to your topic because tomorrow you will get lot of confusion when you want to uh, when you want to uh, pick some materials which are relevant to your topic so it will be a, it will be a big dump so make sure every material that you collect you make a segment wise uh, uh, separation uh, topic wise separation by keeping different folders at least 20 to 25 folders uh, particularly on on that uh, sub topics so if you don't do this folder wise segmenting or uh, arrangement uh, tomorrow what happens is there's a big dump in one folder all the materials and uh, you just don't know where you want uh, if you have want to have an idea on a sub topic you will not get it all of a sudden so again it takes hours and hours to to search from that big bulk material so always your material should be categorized your material should should be archived with different folders uh, by naming them because you know what to name it uh, depending upon your subject expertise so that is how phd first year is the year that you need to get more and more material that is very 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 important which you will lose out if and which you will uh, which you cannot work it out in your third year when writing thesis that's not the time to do this this is the time to do this that is one one part of doing uh, uh, in in the first year and second thing is you have to work it out with your university um, rules and regulations uh, rules of uh, uh, doing phd there is a rule book for every university read the rule book and besides that rule book there are newly for framed rules which are not in the rule book so you have to make sure asking your seniors meeting all the co scholars your seniors and uh, acquainting yourself with them uh, and asking them more doubts your seniors are the back uh, foundation for your upcoming job uh, phd journey if you don't have that connection with your seniors within that university which means you are making a big mistake because you don't know the situations existing in that university how to go about how to go about with your colleagues how to go about with the university rules and policies how to go about with the uh, situations when you face them all the awkward situations bad situations happy situations or how to how to deal with supervisors professors around you and uh, how to assist them so this is one second big part uh you have to concentrate in your phd first year to make yourself acquainted with all the policies rules and regulations of the university and also making a connection between university and you making a connection uh between a professor and you making a connection between your senior research scholar and you in your department at least so that will play a great role in getting the knowledge how to do your phd ahead successfully uh, phd is all about adjustment so psychologically you will be strong you will know what you have to do uh, years ahead <clears throat> and phd senior scholars you are seniors are the best people who can they are really eager to help junior scholars uh, but uh, unfortunately nobody approaches them asking many doubts so the juniors just just first year they spend like uh, uh, like just if like a uh, what i can say they do nothing okay basically that's what i uh, i want to warn please uh, do not waste your time in your first year because it it is the foundation for your upcoming phd is journey that is that is going to be serious and uh, with a lot of hard work that is the second thing and the now we have spoken two parts that you have to do in your phd first year now i am going to speak about the third part that you have need to concentrate is 
start writing start writing research papers on your topic start writing research papers on your topic because <coughs> research papers play a crucial role tomorrow if you do not complete forget about communicating forget about publishing but you have to at least complete two or three research papers i can say one in three months so with that uh, for one semester you write two research papers for whole year you will write four research papers so if you can write and keep in your laptop secretly confidentially four research papers on your topic uh, and uh, keep it ready then that that will really help you to push forward in your second year and wait for communication and publication in your third year because it may take around one year for a quality publication nowadays especially for uh, engineering backgrounds so that is why first year is the time where you have to write maximum papers and keep there do not communicate all of a sudden because you need to make so many adjustments that are relevant to your thesis because your research papers that you write should be relevant to the upcoming thesis in your third or fourth year which you are going to submit or synopsis or any uh, those things so in order to make it relevant that's why do not communicate do not reveal it to your uh, or to, to, to your colleagues of course to your supervisor you can reveal if you want but otherwise even if to your supervisor uh, uh, as your supervisor is giving guidance throughout the first year how to go about with your phd thesis topic and also you will have some suggestions from doctoral committee panel during your reviews then you can make those changes into your research papers so keep it a confidential thing uh, writing four research papers and just to keep it there for safe so that tomorrow you are not getting into a trouble in writing your research papers or getting delay in publishing so this is the third part writing up your phd uh, related research paper Re remember one warning please don't go outside the topic of your research don't write anything that is unrelated to your topic don't uh, collect material that is unrelated to topic so this is the third part as we have already spoken now what is the first part the first part is um collecting all the material from various sources i have i have just told you second part is knowing the rules regulations policies and getting acquainted with all the university uh, norms and also getting acquaintance with different professors teachers colleagues and getting that connection is second part and uh, third part is writing up your research papers is what the third part these are the three things you have to do in your phd first year and fourthly you have to also work on certain important things uh, that is to uh, start saving money from the from phd first year itself you are going to get a stipend unfortunately by the time i see phd scholars when they come to third year they don't have a single penny to uh, a single penny in their pocket to spend uh, uh, for a thesis submission fees or to spend for their family or to spend for their even personal expenses and that is going to put you in depression so that is why from first year onwards you need to save money 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 because you are going to get some stipend stipend varies uh, for different subjects and different uh, scholars but it's not it's reasonable stipend so half of the stipend if you can save it for the future because especially by the time when you come to phd fourth year or third year you are going to get a lot of expenses and you need to pay phd tuition fee or you need to buy some software to write up your thesis or you need to pay some fees somewhere regard uh, in terms of phd so it that that is very important so what i can say for indian phd students at least you save uh, uh, at least you save uh, uh, 1 lakh in your account exclusively for uh, phd expenses in the future or for students abroad in usa and all you can save at least uh, uh, 300 to 400 us dollars uh, depending upon your expenses so this is this this is how you need to start from phd first year itself 
because if you miss that then you are, you are going to spend you are getting monthly stipend and you are spending it lavishly and you think that you are going to get again in the next month then this will continue now this is the biggest big financial issue at a later stage and this will lead to many many problems many means this will lead to depression depression will lead to uh, uh, irritation and irritation will lead to uh, lead to some quarrels and fights with even with your colleagues with professors around you and you will live a, live an unhappy life so that is why saving money from your phd journey is very very important especially for married people saving money is very crucial crucial for unmarried people to those who are from poor family backgrounds to look after your families you need to start saving money this is a fourth part that you should you should uh, work on your uh, work uh, work uh, on phd um, journey so having said these four parts to do compulsorily in your uh, phd first year now let us come to fifth part the fifth part uh, in your phd journey in the first year is to look after you are health condition psychologically and physically remember you can't do research if you are too much tired or if you, you can't do research if your health is not cooperating well so your diet plans must be changed your uh, psychological status must be changed your you have to cultivate healthy hobbies that's very very important maybe like uh, doing research do it in a reward rewarding way like for example you do research you try to reward yourself with some hobbies like uh, uh, like watching a documentary uh, for one hour which you like or watching some movie at some point of intervals in a week or spending going for some trip uh over some intervals make sure your mind is relaxed your mind is uh, occupied with some hobbies that way you you will keep up healthy atmosphere around your body and your mind both are very very important for research also don't be uh, over do, don't overdo anything in the university especially with the workloads that you get as teaching assistantship or or for that reason uh, any other works from the university or outside do not uh, involve in bigger things uh, like doing some business even outside as a phd scholar all these things will involve a risk of uh, depression a risk of psychological factors a risk of health hazards so that is why keep your health condition very fine uh, with good diet plans with good hobbies with good habits and that that will give you a uh, good uh, uh, mind to research a healthy mind to research this is the fifth part and last but not least in phd first year as a first year student you should make sure not to get involved in um, character related problems character related or ego related problems or quarrels fights or whatever uh, unethical things so of course we all know it but if you are involved in any unethical behavior you will be terminated from your phd in the first year itself so you might if you have some addictions so you need to control your addictions now for example if i if you have an addiction of something that is unusual not to do in the university campus level then you have to avoid it in the first year itself so this is something moral value that not only phd student any student should learn so having said these six things that you need to follow in your phd first year if you follow these suggestions surely your second year third year and fourth year will be a way ahead successful you are going to complete your phd successfully and with more zeal and you will be proud that what you have done in your phd first year so i wish you good luck all phd students aspirants and uh, i hope you will be proud what you are doing in your PhD first year. Thank you so much.